It's time for Maths with Mr. Thomas. Hey, hey, we're now on lesson number five in the differentiation chapter. We're now looking at the gradient of a tangent or the gradient of a curve. So let's imagine we have a curve. Looking at this diagram here, you can see in red we have the curve drawn in. So on any curve, we can find out the gradient at a certain point. What this means is that as you move along that curve, obviously there are times it's going to be steeper than other times. This blue line that is drawn in is a tangent to the curve, and a tangent to the curve is just a line that touches the curve in no more. So if you look at this diagram here, you can see that there is the curve and there is the line that is touching it in no more. And as it moves along the curve, the line changes its steepness, it changes its gradient. And this dotted line that is drawn in is the x value. So at different x values, you can see the gradient of the curve or the gradient of the tangent is totally different. So going back to this, we can say that the gradient of the curve is equal to the gradient of the tangent at that point. So looking at this example that I have, the gradient of this curve here in red when x equals 3, it is equal to the gradient of the tangent, which is in blue, again, when x equals 3. Again, thinking back to this example, there's the dotted line, the x value is changing, but the gradient of the tangent and the curve would be the same at that point. So, the main purpose of differentiation, some of you are probably thinking, well, why are we doing this again? What's the point in it? The main purpose of differentiation is to find out the gradient of a curve at a certain point. And once you've found that gradient, what you could do is you could work out the gradient of the tangent. It's a straight line. And by to do that, you think back to unit one when we learned about gradient point equation. So really, the main purpose of differentiation is to find out the gradient. So we can now say that dy by dx really equals the gradient. Let's do a couple of examples with that then. So example number one, find the gradient and equation of the tangent to y equals x squared, 3x squared at x equals 1. So first of all, we want to think, what is the gradient going to be? So we have y equals 3x squared. And to get the gradient, we just differentiate. So differentiating y, we end up with dy by dx. If you differentiate 3x squared, 3 times 2 gives you 6. Decrease the power by 1, and we get 6x. We're asked to work out the gradient, though, when x equals 1. So when x equals 1, we just replace x with 1. So dy by dx would be 6 times 1, which is 6. Meaning, then, the gradient would just be 6. After that, we are asked to work out the gradient of the line. We've done that. And we're also, also asked to work out the equation of the tangent. For the equation of the tangent, remember, gradient point equation. We know the gradient, but the point, we only know, only know the x value. So we also have to work out the y value. So when x equals 1, y equals, we can just substitute that in here. So it's 3 times 1 squared, which will give us 3. Meaning then that when x is 1, y is 3. And that will then give us the point 1, 3. After that, you've got the gradient, 6. You've got the point, 1, 3. So you can put it into y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. Putting in the values, we'd have y take away 3 equals 6 bracket x take away 1. Multiply out the brackets, y minus 3 equals 6x minus 6. And if you add 3 to both sides, y would equal 6x minus 3. Second example, number two. Example two, a parabola has equation y equals x squared. Take away 4x plus 1. Calculate the gradient and equation of the tangent at x equals 3. So to begin with, we're asked to work out the gradient. How do you get the gradient? You differentiate. So, just revealing all that. If given y equals x squared, take 4x add 1. Differentiate it, so we get dy by dx. And if you differentiate x squared, you get 2x. Differentiate 4x, it goes to negative 4. And the 1 will just disappear. From there, 
When x equals 3, this is the derivative, that is going to be the gradient. We know x is 3 though, so we can say dy by dx would be 3 times 2. Take away 4, which is 6. Take away 4, which gives you 2. Therefore, the gradient will be equal to 2. Again, you're asked for the equation of the tangent. Think gradient point equation. So the gradient is 2. The point, though, we need that. But we know the x value, so now we need to work out the y value. So you've got x equals 3. To work out y, you can sub that into this equation. y equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. Replace x with 3. We'd have 3 squared. Take away 4 times 3 plus 1, which will give us negative 3. 2. From there, you know x equals 3, you know y would equal negative 2, so our point would be 3, negative 2. So gradient point equation, we've got the gradient, woo, we've got the point, woo, and you can work out the equation, y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. Sub in the values, remember this is a, this is b, so y take away negative 2, in other words y add 2, would equal gradient 2, so 2 bracket x minus 3. Multiply out the brackets, and then subtract 2 from both sides. And that would be the equation of the tangent. Let's do one final example. Number 3. This time the gradient of a tangent to the curve, y equals uh, x to the power of 4 plus 1, is 32. Find the point of contact with the tangent. And secondly, find the equation of that tangent. So here we're not asked to work out the gradient, it tells us the gradient. The gradient is 32. What we need to do is we need to work out x and y, it's the point that we want. So how could you go about doing that? Well we're given y equals x to the power of 4 plus 1. If you think about it, we're not told x or y, but we are told what the gradient is. And you know the gradient is dy by dx. So let's differentiate that. So differentiating We'd end up with dy by dx would equal 4x cubed. From there, well, if you think about it, we're told the gradient, we're told dy by dx. So after that, since the gradient's 32, we can say that the 4x cubed would equal 32. Remember, dy by dx is just m, it's your gradient. From there, we need to find x, so divide both sides by 4. We'd end up with x cubed is 8. And if you cube root that, you'd end up with 2. From there, you know x is 2, we need to work out y, so you could sub it back into the equation that we have just in the question. So y equals x to the power of 4 plus 1, replace x with 2, we'd have 2 to the power of 4 plus 1, which will give us 17. Therefore, the point of contact, we know the x value, we know the y value, so we can say that x is 2 and y is 17. Just make sure though, that you're asked for a point, so you write it down as a coordinate, just like that. Afterwards, work out the equation of the tangent. It's a straight line, gradient point equation. Gradient, well, yep, we're told that in the question. Gradient of the tangent is 32. Point, we just worked out. So y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. So y take away 17 would equal 32. That's what the gradient is. Bracket x take away 2. Multiply out the brackets, and then add 17 to both sides. And that is what you would get. Give this a shot. All you're doing is working out the equation of a tangent or the gradient of a tangent. You're differentiating and remember dy by dx, the derivative, is equal to the gradient. Good luck. Try these questions in exercise 5a. If you want to try some harder, more challenging questions, you can also give 5b a shot as well. Good luck.